Hey guys, Max here. In this video, I want to show you how to install our rear sliding shelf on the Enios Grenadier. So let's get started. First thing you're going to get is a shelf, which we have it here laid out. The main shelf, you'll have two of the side panels. I'll show you how they go. It's pretty simple, you guys. The other one, you get a set of rails. These are about 30 inches long. You get a little package here, all the hardware. You got a couple of spacers. You got a patch here. You get a sticker and stuff. So let's get started. So you know, what you need is a T45 torque, a 10 mil, and a 13 mil. That's all you need. So let's, let me show you how to start. Around to the back, you have these hooks with these bolts that are screw in. Use your T45 on screw them. We're not gonna use the bolts, but we are gonna use these tie down points on the new molly panel. So if you walk over this way, I'll show you. You have the original spots right here. One, two, and you have the two on the other side. So what we're gonna do is remove these, and then I'll show you how to install the panel. You remove all four corners. Just like that. Okay, so once you have taken the original off, you use a, this bolt here. It fits right here. You can see how it fits into the grooves. That way this thing is not moving around too much. And then you'll use the spacer here in the back. Why you need the spacer? Because you'll see in your original molding, it has like an indent. So with this, it becomes flush with the panel. So yeah, just gotta find that screw point. Use your hands a little bit to tighten it up. This other side. Just like that. Then, this is the perfect time to use that 13 mil socket. And tighten her up. And we're gonna repeat the same process on the, on the driver's side, guys. So basically the same thing, we're gonna have the spacers, the bolts, that hook on the inside. We're gonna install that, and then we're gonna move to the next step. So we've just installed the side panels. Next step will be the rails. You'll get two of these rails, and guys, we're gonna install the rails with these Phillip head tapered screws. Um, and then you're gonna take this apart by opening it up. Just make sure whichever rail you have is gonna to go to the same, kind of the same situation, same setup, same kit. Do not mix them around, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's screw it in. Also guys, one thing to uh, mention is you have two two holes here. You wanna make sure that it's in the, the first position. That way you get all the screws in. There's four of them. Get them all hand tight, just a little bit, so that way you're not cross-threading. And then once you have them all in, you can actually put some force on it. Also, I want to mention I didn't show you in the beginning of the video is you get these two legs, one on each side. This one goes on this side, the other one goes on this side, and I'll show you where they're both on. So you'll have two here, and you lift up your carpet, and you have to remove this one on T45 as well, and bam, that's how it screws in. See that? Let's get to it. back in so we screw the bottom one on and then we screw the top here these are the quarter 20s use a 10 mil to screw them in Now we do the same thing on the other side. Repeat the same process. Once you have installed both sides, the rails, you'll come to this panel, use the proper side, 
and repeat the process. This little rail, these Phillips head screws, screwed in. It's that easy, guys. Let's do it. Okay, guys, final step. We have all that together. Kind of, my thing is I, I like to pull these out. And then uh, if you walk over here, you see the ball bearing here. So what you want to do is make sure the other rails come right in here. You want to use this probably another friend or a buddy or a wife or whoever to help you guy with that because it has to be right in there. If it starts to jam up, do not apply pressure. It's supposed to go a little bit tight, but not like dead. You know what I mean? So let's show you how this works. This is where the buddy is needed. So you take the rail or the shelf. It's a little bit tight sometimes, but uh, yeah, watch your fingers and stuff. And then, there you go. Guys, this completes our shelf install. And what's nice actually, you can remove it, you can fully remove it if you don't need it, and you can install it. And now I got this nice, beautiful shelf. So guys, first of all, I wanna say thank you for the purchase. Continue to support, I appreciate it. Any questions, don't hesitate. Reach out to us by email, give us a call. Shoot us DM, DM us, whatever. Thank you.